All right, we'll start from the outside. So if you've got a caravan that has a, an electric step, you'll find on the right hand side here a switch and that will um, that will make your step go up and down. If you just push a little bit, it'll only go a little way. So just hold it down till it clicks. And then if we come in, come around to the left hand side, you got sort of your main control here. So this black switch here is, is your 12 volt master switch. So if you turn that on, all your 12 volt, your lights, your TV, your um, USB points your, will all come on if, um, if they're on. And then if you're going out for the day, just give it a flick off and it'll turn everything off. Uh, these switches are just your light switches. These are for your, your awning and out and out the back. And then this is your light switch for inside the main area. 240 volt um, power points. So they'll only work if you've got, if you're plugged into power and your... Um, USB ports there so you've got the cigarette and the USB options and they'll work as long as that black switch is turned on stove master switch there uh, for the stove over there if we go to the right of the um, door so some caravans you'll get uh, the Eberspatcher diesel heater put in so that's what these vents are here and the outlet for it, uh, sorry, the controls for it, um, just on the wall up here. So that 19, that tells you what the, the current ambient temperature is. If you want to turn it on, just give that right hand button a push and that little green LED light will come on. And then to change the temperature of the heater, just hold these buttons down and it'll change them. And then it'll just come back to this display of the of the ambient temperature this button on the right here is um, for your fan so just touch and hold that it won't work at the moment because there's no diesel but if you touch and hold that um, you can adjust your fan spare settings too just another little push and it'll turn off again it'll take a minute to um, about three or four minutes to wind down so if it still makes a noise after you turn it off don't worry too much and it'll It'll just constantly display that ambient temperature. There's a little sensor there. I don't know, you can't really see it, but that takes the temperature. So going around, we've got these um, these little lights, reading lights everywhere. So they sort of, it's just a simple rocker switch there. And they're uh, quite adjustable, depending on what you want to do. And just flick it off. Coming around, we've got another one of the reading lights there, and same over here. You get your reading light, your um, 240 power point, and another set of 12 volts there. So these power points here um, are white, which means that they run off off your 240. So you got to be plugged in. If they're black, so if this um, surround is black that means that it'll run off a um, inverter if you have one installed so there's no problem to switch these these white ones out for black ones so that you can have your switches running off inverters if that's what you're after um, coming along a couple more switches on the bench there same deal 12 volt and 240 your TV RSC will generally um, hardwire that in, so it's wired there, and it's got a little switch to turn it off and on if you want to. Then, if we go here, this cupboard on the right is sort of our main um, control area. So you've got up the top, you got your pump switch. For your water pump recommend turning that off um, 
when you're not using it for long periods if you're out for the day and definitely if you're driving uh, just to get uh, avoid getting any airlocks in the pump and damaging it uh, you got your fridge uh, power button on the right there if you're wanting to use it plugged into uh, power and then these two you got options for your hot water system whether you want to run it off electric or gas if you want to run it off the gas it, it's not going to go because the gas isn't turned on right now but just turn it on and that um, that red switch the uh, red light there will flick off and on uh, as long as it's uh, flicking off and on like that uh, it's trying to light and once it's once the gas, gas is lit it'll go to a solid red light so that you know that it's on on the right here is our solar indicator so it's got your volts and then up the top it's got the little sunshine battery light bulb indicators to tell you whether um, any solar is coming in and what whether the batteries are being used to power the appliances or not um, not really power related but there's also this water um, tank indicator here water level indicator so the outside two will tell you your um, fresh water levels and the middle one will be your um, your grey water level so you just push this little button and the lights will come up and on the right of that we've got our radio which is just standard same as a car radio push and hold to turn it on and then you can just go mode here to go through your different options you got bluetooth normal radio etc you got a few speakers so you've got one at the back up there you got one up in the bedroom there and you got a couple outside um, on the exterior wall so to choose what speaker you want to run off just click your select and run through and just your balance and your fade will determine what speakers run uh, and then just push and hold to turn it off again you can set up your TV to run off those speakers as well, pretty easy. Just go to your settings on your TV. So that's everything in that box. Then if we go down, the fridge again is not really turned on, so it's not necessarily going to gonna show everything. But if we go to this option... You've got the choice of having your your fridge on automatic setting. You can, you can run it off power. Run it off 12 volt. That's only for really when you're driving along. If you're wanting to go um, on on a journey to where you're going, you just put it on that and it'll it'll make it a little bit cold when, when you get there. Um, and gas option there too. So you can either select what uh, setting you want or just click it on auto and it'll choose what one is best and then just select what one you want and then go back if we carry on into the bathroom so on the right hand side here you'll see we just again got the standard two switches and your normal power uh, light switch there up the top here you got your fan system so there's a button on the right here that will turn these lights on and then you've got um, your fan options here so in the middle is off and then you can either have air coming in or going out and then back into the middle to turn it off and you've got the same system in the shower here exactly the same um, set up so if you're having a shower you'd open the vents up and you'd have this one air going out and you'd turn that fan on to have the air going in and then you'd get a bit of flow through and you wouldn't get 
steamed up. So coming through to the bedroom now. On the right hand side, the top you get your circuit breaker there, which you don't really need to worry about too much. Um, and your light switch in the corner here. Um, then on the beside the bed, you see exactly the same on that side and this side. Oh, she's a bit bright. You've got your PowerPoint, same thing if you want that to be a black switch to run off your inverter, no problem swapping that. And then you've got your cigarette lighter or your USB chargers there. And two reading lights above the bed there. Uh, now if we go underneath the bed, we've got a bit of a system going on down here. Alright, so in here we have the um, electrics and charging for the breakaway system that you uh, hook onto your car out the front for your electric brakes. you got your battery protector there, um, battery, oh, battery charger down there for your, um, for your solar. And you got your fuse board here. So the fuses aren't actually labelled, but if you, if one is broken, the the light will come on. So it's pretty easy to work out which one has blown if you need to. And you just got a little light here if you're working in in the dark. All right, that's the the bed. Now if we come back through to the kitchen. Got another little 12 volt up there. Got your range hood here. So you got with your range hood, you got a light there. It's just a touch screen, so it's just a light touch on that one. To turn it off and on, same as your power. Just a touch and that'll start it up. And your plus and minus to change how uh, fast the range hood speed is. Just above the sink here, you've got another um, touch light, so it's just a touch on the arrow there. Microwave's just standard. Uh, I'm not going to turn it on because it's got the metal in there still, but it just works the same as your standard microwave at home. Alright, and the last thing is in the bedroom up here, we have a smoke alarm and that doesn't need any tutoring either and that is it for all the electronics in the 23 rear club so if you have any questions just let us know in the comments and we'll try and answer them cheers